The Mayans created and used a number system that was base 20. Mayan numerals are much different than what we're used to. They are as follows in this table here, starting from 0 going up to 19. So 20 numerals using these dots and lines. Their zero is a little bit different, but that makes it easier to know that it is zero. To convert from Mayan numerals to Hindu Arabic numerals, we will be multiplying each Mayan numeral by a particular sequence of numbers that are multiplied. You must pay attention in particular to the last two numbers that you have to multiply. The numbers you have to multiply are 18 times 20 cubed, 18 times 20 squared, 18 times 20 to the first, and then it is just 20 and then it's just one. The 18 stop here. So the last two are not multiplied with an 18. Once you do the multiplication, sum up the results. The Mayan system is expressed vertically with the units place value at the bottom. So let's just do some examples. We're going to write each Mayan numeral as a Hindu Arabic numeral. So first off is we need to figure out what each symbol means. So this has three digits. So we have this one here, this one here, and then this number here. So this first one is a 19. This one is a zero. And this one is six. And so again, I'm going to multiply this by, if we look here, the last number is going to be multiplied by one. The next one's going to be multiplied by 20. And then the one after that's going to be 18 times 20 to the first, so 18 times 20. So when I do this, uh, 19 times 18 times 20 is going to give me 6,840. Uh, anything times 0 is 0, so that's easy. And then 6 times 1 is 6. And then we just add them up, which is going to give me... 6,846. So this number here, from Mayan to our unit of measure, our number system is 6,846. Next, we got this one. This one's four digits. So we have this number, this number, this number, and this number. So we have four numbers here. So this first one here, the two dots, is just two. These are zeros, and this last number here is an 11. So again, I'm going to start off with multiplying by 1, then multiply by 20, and now I introduce the 18, so 18 times 20 to the first, and then 18 times 20 to the second. Now I'll just do all the multiplication, so this is going to end up being... 14,400, 0 stays 0, and then 11 times 1 is 11. And now I just add it up. Let me make that look a little bit better. Close enough. So now I just add them all up, and I'm going to end up with 14,411. There it is converted from their system to our system. Last one we're going to do, this one's a big one. We have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 numbers here. So this one's probably going to be a fairly large number. So let's start off with the line is 5, 2 lines is 10, this is still 0, this is 6, this is 2, and this is 3. And so we're going to start at the bottom, times 1, times 20, and now we bring in the 18, 18 times 20, 18 times 20 squared, 18 times 20 cubed, and 18 times 20 to the fourth. Uh, numbers this big, I'd have a calculator. I wouldn't even try doing it by hand. So first one here is going to be 1440000. Zero, 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 zero. Next one is going to be 1440. Four, 
0, 0, 0, 0, just four zeros. This is still going to be 0. This one's going to be 2160. This is going to be 40. And this is going to be 3. So this isn't perfectly lined up. But again, by this point, you should be using a calculator. You can just type in all these numbers into your calculator. So when I add all these up, I'm going to end up with, let's see here, 1, 5, 8, 4, 2, 2, 0, 3. And fix the 8 because it looks a little bit weird. 1, 5, 8, 4, 2, 2, 0, 3. So 15 million eight hundred forty-two thousand two hundred and three is the conversion from Mayan numbers to our numbers.